This segment brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back. Now Lavelle Windsor introduces a new online K-State course open to all farmers. Hi, I'm Lavelle Windsor and I'm a farm analyst with K-State Research and Extension. And I wanted to share with you a course that has been released through K-State that farmers and ranchers can take. Uh, this is a non-accredited class that is taken through Global Campus on K-State and it is a farm financial course. The model of this course came from a year ago when we offered an in-person four-part series farm financial course. And we had such great feedback from the participants that we decided to revamp the course a little bit and make it into a course that can be taken online with spouses or children or other key stakeholders. The course covers record keeping, balance sheet, income statement, cash flow, family living expenses, and goal setting. And there is course material for each one of those uh, items. And then most of those items also have an activity that go along with them to reinforce the concept. There are two types of activities. Uh, so that different types of farms will fit, find an activity that fits their farm. So one of the activities is based on crops and cattle, so more like a traditional commodity farm. And then another series of the activities is vegetable CSA farmer market type activity. Um, when you take the course, you have access to either one of those activities and then the answer key that goes along with that as well. There are uh, two ways that you can take this course. It can be for education only, and that would be just to hone your skills, hopefully learn a little more, um, maybe what your lender is looking for, or maybe some tips and tricks of how you can improve your records and use them to make management decisions on your farm. The other option is to, if you have an FSA or a farm service agency loan, this course will fulfill the financial requirement of the FSA loan. And um, the difference between the two is when you're education only, you don't have to do the activities or the exam if you don't want to. I mean, we hope that you do. But if you take it for FSA credit, you do have to take those activities and the exam. They have to be completed successfully and we grade those. And then upon uh, successful completion, we'll provide you with a certificate at the end that you can take to your farm service agency office. If you want to take this course, um, I think the best way to sign up is to go to agmanager.info, click on the events tab, and uh, you'll see uh, finances on the farm as things that you can choose from. When you register for the class, you will have six months from the date of registration to complete the coursework. Personally, if I was taking this course, I would encourage you to take the course over about a month's period of time so that you can digest the information and implement it into your own operation. Um, but you do have a, a six month window to do that in if you would like to. The course material is about three and a half hours worth of material, of video material that you'll be listening to. Those are broken up into, most of them are 15 minute or shorter videos so that it's pretty easily easy to digest the information and be able to go on to the next one. So you can kind of break it up and it's not really, really long segments that you have to sit through. We hope that people will register for this course and take the course either by themselves if they wanna improve their record keeping skills or as a family. Um, we have a lot of spouses that are going to be taking the course together or maybe their kids are coming back to the farm. Any of those are just fine. When we did the four part financial series a year ago, we had as young as college age students taking the course up to, uh, there. Were, I know there were a couple ladies that were in their 80s. So really any age group is just fine to take this course. The idea is, is that we can help you to improve your financial management skills and then be able to take that financial management back to your farm to help you make better decisions. And registration can be found at agmanager.info under the events tab is probably the best place to register for this course. Stay with us, we'll be back after the break with Plain Talk. <music> 